Chapstick. It's what's for dinner. Hi guys, I'm Cheyenne and you are watching Shylandia. Today I'm going to give you some factual information that I found. I think it's factual. Who really knows? All of these facts came from at what the F facts on Twitter. And I found a few of the facts that are pretty crazy and make you go, what the fuck? So let's get started. Yee! So yeah, all the facts are in this thing. So I'm gonna read them off of the, off of this thing. In Sweden, prisoners are given holidays too that are usually two to three days long, after which they have to report back to the prison. Okay. I'd say that when all of those prisoners run out that door for their vacation, they're all like, school's out forever. And then they go into hiding and never come back again. Seems like something prisoners would do if they had a vacation, right? I would, if I was a prisoner, and hey, I'm not going to stay in here. You crazy? Good job, Sweden. Your crime rate is probably through the roof. The snuggery is a service in which you pay $60 an hour to hire someone to snuggle with you. Really? All the people that work at the snuggery are probably all rapists and pedophiles. And the people that go there to snuggle are probably all lonely weirdos. Raise your hand if you want to snuggle with a random stranger. No hands up here. You get the same sensation of pleasure by sharing information on Twitter and Facebook as having sex, according to Harvard researchers. Wow. So all the people that tweet and update their statuses 50 more times a day, they get satisfied a lot. Now I get it. That's why people share useless information that nobody cares about. Because they're getting off from it. It all makes sense now. In a survey, it was found that every 1 in 14 Americans would be ready to kill a person if he or she was offered $3 million. Hmm. Could you imagine a soccer mom that's like, Hey kids, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna go get some dinner. Then she goes to search for somebody to kill. Then she kills them. Then she comes back with $3 million. And she's like, kids, we're rich! Wow. Americans are greedy as fuck. A woman named Lori Inn auctioned her slightly used soul for a mere $2,000 on eBay. Wow. Her slightly used soul, huh? So Lori, how do you plan on shipping that to the buyer? Does it involve shipping yourself there and then doing some kind of weird satanic sacrificial ritual? Probably. And it's funny that she called it her slightly used soul. Obviously, she has a slightly used brain as well. Lori might want to auction that off too. Get on it. Due to a lack of an alcohol digesting enzyme found in European drinking levels, one third of Asians tend to glow after drinking. Okay. Oh my god. To test this theory, go to your nearest college campus, find three Asians, give them a shit ton of alcohol, and then put them all in a dark room and see which one of them glows. 
Oh, and make sure to film it. You watch, this will be the next big viral video on YouTube. Mark my motherfucking words. All right guys, that's all I've got for today. Make sure to give me some comments down there cause I am doing a comments video soon. So get ready for that. Or don't, I mean, live your life normally. Also, don't forget to click that little subscribe button up there to support my channel and see lots more magical things. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on Friday. Sometimes you might think you're hearing a piece of music in your head, even though it's not being played. This is known as the earworm. It's called the earworm because a tiny worm with a boombox gets inside of your ear, and he plays a random song, and then he just like starts dancing and like enjoying the music. Like if you're hearing Pink Floyd, he's gonna light up a doobie. If you're hearing Nirvana, he's gonna like wear a lot of flannel things and baggy things. If you're hearing Nicki Minaj, he wears a pink wig and goes into split personality mode. Sometimes he's a British man drinking tea. Other times, he's a monster. It depends on his moods, really, so...